Good morning, fellow peeps and folks. I'm Ellie, and today we are watching Overlord episode 4 of season 2, and it is called Army of Death. I have looked up the arcs of this show, and apparently this arc goes five episodes. Um, so I did say I would either end it after three, four, or five episodes, depending on how long the arc is. And apparently this arc is five episodes, so I'm still gonna watch two today. Yay! <laughs> um, so this isn't over yet. The, the war is basically won, but um, things are still not finished. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna say more before we start. Let's just get through this. All right, let's go with episode four in three, two, one, and go. Okay, so they're celebrating their victory, I guess, and yep. Restrictions for magical items. Yay! I mean, I did create a few magical items and stuff and treasure for my D&D group that they will most likely get in the next few weeks. And yeah, limitations are very important. Even three times a day is a lot. Well, at least for D&D standards. depending on how you DM, though. Well, so no no deaths, I guess. Hmm. So they're all not dead, they're just exhausted. I mean, I, I guess. That's fine. Seeing as we've had so many, like, deaths in the last season, even, like, just random ones being like, oh, another one dead, another one dead, it really surprises me that they are all still alive. Sure. Mm, yep. All right, so. And that's probably gonna be for like the second arc or something. I've, re I've read that the next arc is actually the whole rest of the season, so a bigger one. Um, I'm very curious about that next arc because that means like the, the whole pr princess thing is going to be in there, which I found interesting from the outro. Um, the few characters we actually know from last season too, like the blue haired guy and stuff. Um, they're in there too, so there are definitely a few blondes in there, so is that like a style choice? <laughs> Or does it mean something? All right. Let's hear what you gotta say. What is this? <laughs> okay. 
eighth floor. Hmm. To protect. Wow. Um. I mean, sure. <laughs> Let's kill someone. I was born in order to die. That is... Damn. <laughs> I mean, we do know that there's such a thing as resurrection because they did use it on Shaltir. All right. So what exactly is the death gonna be? But what is it going to do? Lower tier scrolls. Okay. So it's like mass producible stuff. Okay, two-legged sheep, chimeras, hmm, lion and a goat, and the tails were snakes, okay, there are different uh, combinations, um, <laughs> I have dabbled in chimeras for my D&D campaign too. <laughs> So he is gonna punish her a little bit at least. Yep. Maybe that's the plan. <laughs> I mean, there has to be some bigger plan. Right. All right. That's that's good, I guess. How could you have won? Hmm. That's a good lesson. Hmm. It's something, at least. Yeah, he had nothing to lose. Hmm. So it was just a learning experience. Hmm. Okay. And why that? Is that still a learning experience on the cost of the lives of a whole species? <laughs> or is there something else in there? All right. We'll see, we'll see. What what does he want? Listen to him first. He 
Yep. What is it? Ooh, he wants mercy. Nice. Hey, I like it. I mean... He's actually saying something against orders of genocide. That's... You know. We can use them as allies rather than enemies. Yep. That wouldn't make sense, you know? <laughs> Hmm. All right. Whoops. Do you have anything to say to that? Governability experiment? Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, and again, the whole thing of, oh, he had the better idea, he has more... He has made a better impression and stuff. That is interesting. If you think about it, not every leader is doing it like this. Most leaders in, you know, even in stories, most of them are like, yeah, just do what I say. Well, he is kind of uh, putting a different spin on that. Hmm. All right, let's see how this will go, I guess. Maybe it is. I don't know, having the, you know, knowing the motives is sometimes pretty difficult here. Um, maybe we'll get a little bit of what he thinks right now, now that he's alone. Laughing? Hmm. Tactics and strategies. That is good. Yeah. 
Yeah, that also. <laughs> Try to be a good leader to make sure that even even if the loyalty fades a little bit, you can still instill it by yourself. Albedo, was that you? <laughs> Pretending to be rich. I mean, you are rich in this world, so you don't have to pretend. Hmm. That's a lot. Yeah, that that's high magic. If you can do even more, just just saying. So how easily will you give up and let yourself be ruled over? <laughs> I mean, the, the, the girl did say that she would rather be ruled by them than have everyone die, so she's probably gonna accept whatever proposal is made. Magic, <laughs> but powerful magic. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, what is that? That's new. Like a golem or something. That's a big boulder. Very big one. I mean, they are showing their strength. Um, wow, building stairs or what? Are you gonna walk on them? Just everyone. <laughs> oh, more of those screamy little things. All right. Yep, just to delay the message and to make an impression on you. All right, so the two brothers are gonna go.
Come up here. <laughs> Oops. Well, that's not great. Adopted a listening posture. Um, that's... Wow. Those poor guys. <laughs> He's going to do it alone. <laughs> Fight first. <laughs> I mean, there's not many people who would be like, don't surrender, uh, fulfill that deal first. But I mean, it, it might, it makes sense because he wants Kakashis to learn. <laughs> and you know, all that jazz. Alright, so we're gonna have that fight uh, that was shown in the intro and I mean I'm just guessing that Cockatus is gonna win and the lizard people are gonna be ruled by Ainz. That's just what I think here. Yeah, she's agitated. And that's gonna be the reason why you don't fight? Wow. Honestly, I would still fight. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Whoop. Things happen, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, let's let's not. <laughs> Sometimes this is just frustrating. As you can probably see, I'm not really into this love story. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, sure, I guess he's gonna die or he's not. Uh, that doesn't 
doesn't make a difference. You know, it's it's kind of it's kind of strange that Ainz would just, you know, definitely forfeit the lives of someone just to have his people learn. So he is kind of slowly, you know, uh, getting accustomed to actually watching people die and, you know, let people die for his own good. I'm not condoning that, of course, I'm not, because, uh, I mean, there's still people, but also I kind of just want this arc to be over because I'm not really interested in that anymore. I mean, I know what's going to happen, it kind of, at least. It's, it's pretty much clear. There's going to be this fight and then things are going to be resolved somehow and yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna end this video here because I don't know. I, I would like to take a walk after this but I can't. Quarantine. Yay. Um, so yeah, on this note, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.